on good things. Joining us now is Stacy Crane. She's with Camp Kamasa. They've got their upcoming community fest and more. And we've got Pastor Demario Benson, and he is sharing the Lord's work in Jackson and in Crystal Springs, and he's also up to some good things with Camp Kamasa. So welcome both. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, um, Stacy. I'm going to start with you because I want a Camp Kamasa update. First off, give us like a brief introduction to Camp Kamasa in case there's somebody listening who's new to good things and had never heard of the great work you guys are doing. Okay, so we are Mississippi's Toughest Kids, Camp Kamasa. We are located in Crystal Springs, Mississippi. We are building a camp on 426 acres uh, uh, in the rule of Crystal Springs, and it will be for special needs children Mm -hmm. and adults, and it will be the first and only accessible, handicap accessible uh, camp in the state of Mississippi. And it's so close to being open. Yes, 2025, we will have campers on the ground. And I don't think folks, just if they follow good things long enough, Stacey, they know that then this has been um, one foot in front of the other, trusting God's timing, yes. everybody giving, showing up, showing out from military and beyond. So when that day does come that you have your little campers there for the first time, like I get a little chills thinking about it, just to sort of following you all along on this, uh, on this long journey. Okay, Pastor Benson, how did you get connected to with Camp Kamasa. When's the first time you heard of the good work they're doing there? Well, I've heard about Camp Kamasa for a couple of years. Uh, when it first, when they first started going through the dreaming phase of it, um, but the way that Stacy and I connected, we were looking at trying to uh, do some type of spiritual Christian uh, healing. Uh, in the town of Crystal Springs, and so what better way for us to uh, connect with someone than someone who was already in the process of doing the same thing that we're that we're actually doing, so um, that we wanted to do, and so uh, we just saw the need to uh, connect and come together with Camp Kamasa since they already had something going on that particular day, mm-hmm. and we just wanted to merge, and we call it Community Fest. What better way to show community? than to do it with someone that's already been doing it. And to show your community what good work's going on there. Because I think so often, and that's one of the beauties of good things, is we get to highlight the fact that, man, you know, headlines are awful, but really in our communities, there's some some good, good stuff that's going on you may not even recognize. Let's talk about this community fest. When is it? What's going on? All the fun things. Okay, well, I'll start because the race will be first, the Kamasa uh race series uh we started which that has two become years. a favorite yes this is the third year we're very excited about it uh it's a 5k 10k uh 13.1 uh they could go on race roster and sign up we're still accepting uh registrations all the way up until the day but online you can get it up until 12 o'clock on friday but then you would have to wake up earlier meet me at six o'clock at the shed in crystal springs mississippi at railroad park and i will sign you up but the race part about of it will be from 7 a.m to 10 30 a.m so lots of fun going on and then at 10 30 the community Fest part will start, and we're encouraging people to hang around if you're a runner because you can get your blood pressure checked and just different things going on. But I'm going to um, pivot over to Pastor and let him talk a little bit more about the uh, health. Crossing there. the line of a 13.1 race, don't give you a spiritual awakening, Pastor. What? Most what? definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. I'm praying for everyone that's doing it. <laughs> what, what, what will if, if that doesn't do it for you? <laughs> Well, one thing's for sure, they would definitely be up by the time we get a chance to roll into that 1030 hour (laughs) after 13 miles, after 13.1. But um, we are doing the the health fair immediately after that. That's one of the big components. We wanted to bring uh, a sense of wholeness uh, to the community fest by bringing health, a health piece, a financial piece, uh, open it up to businesses that would like to come in, vendors that would like to come out for free. Uh, The only thing that we're asking is that um, they donate to Camp Kamasa, the run. And uh, that's it. You can come and set your uh, vendor station up, bring your food truck, whatever you have to be able to display. Uh, We really just want to make it a real community festive time. Uh, And just for main attractions, we have a couple of car clubs that's supposed to come through and uh, bless us with their presence. So uh, that'll give us an opportunity to be able to uh, mingle and have some other attractions there as well. 
We definitely weren't meant to do life alone, Pastor Benson. So Not how important is it for fe- folks to see their communities coming together, getting out of, you know, their prospective neighborhoods or just, you know, out of their own homes and coming uh, to some, whether you're running or you're not, and just showing support for their greater community? It's, it's very important. Um, I believe that's one of the missing components today uh, from the richness of when we were actually growing up. Community was always there. Churches were leading in the community. Uh, they always had a presence that was there and allowing you to be able to, to foster that uh, Christian atmosphere, if you will. And so uh, we want to do the same thing. It's very, very important for us to understand what that means from a holistic standpoint, from health, finance, uh, from a Christian perspective as well as being able to partner and to connect and show love in that way as well I love that you're adding in the health component to to hopefully this this holiness movement there in Crystal Springs because it's so important to know your numbers and to know where you stand and What's to happening? be on the on that side of it so for those who may be like ah I'll go to my doctor for that or ah it's not a big you know it's not a big deal it is a big deal it is so which numbers can we get that day? Is it just uh, blood pressure, or will there be other yes, health so vendors there? we'll have blood pressure checks. We'll have glucose level checks. Um, we'll also have uh, a mental health piece that's going to be connected to that as well for persons who may need some help. We have a, a licensed therapist who will actually be on site, so uh, we thank God for that. So we're just trying to touch all different components there to be able to show community. Well, the person, as you mentioned, the whole person, there's so many uh, facets to someone and where they're at in their life, right? Like, I mean, if one pillar is is sort of leaning, then you don't have a true body of sort of health, whether it's mental, physical, Mm -hmm. spiritual, community, um, all of that. And in Camp Kamasa, Stacey has been a pillar of the Crystal Springs community, gosh, now for how long? I mean... You know, and it's bringing such good opportunities to Crystal Springs, but Crystal Springs has also given back so much already to to Camp Kamasa. Can you really separate one of the two anymore? I don't think so, because, I mean, even with the race, and I'm just looking at my sheet of sponsors, uh, somebody asked me, why is Crystal Springs, Mississippi, on the flyer? Well, because Crystal Springs has been very good to Camp Kamasa. Not only, I mean, have they been good, pretty much anything we ask for, we get. The mayor's on our board, Sally Garland, and we are just excited to be where we are in Crystal Springs. And if you don't know anything about Crystal Crystal Springs, please call us for a tour. Because we are touring businesses, people. Uh, We need volunteers. We even need volunteers for the race. So, I mean, as far as uh, the race and volunteerism, uh, 601-874-8152, you can call me. My email address is stacy at mtkfound.com. And I also just want to tell you guys who our sponsors Mm -hmm. are. Um, Keesler Federal Credit Union, Bank Plus, River Trust, Costco Wholesale, Uniquely Forged, The City of Crystal Springs, yay, Payne and Leggett, Renaissance, Canfor, Southern Pine, and I waited to say Walmart last because not only is it just one Walmart, it's two Walmarts, it's three Walmarts, it's collaborating, partnering, the Byron Walmart, the Brookhaven Walmart, the Hazelhurst Walmart, All of them came together to help us make this Community Fest be the first and the best. But, again, it's not the first. um, It's it's, it's the third year for the race, but the first year for us partnering with the Community Fest. So it's only going to grow from there. And Pastor Benson, I mean, I know they won't see you at the – they may see you at the finish line. They won't see you at the start line. No. no, Well, I'll pray for them at the start line. That's about as far as it's going. But if they want to get connected with a faith-based community, whether in Crystal Springs, I also know you serve as pastor in Jackson. Where can people get connected if, if they feel this is this is the time they need to get connected to a greater family? Well, 
Definitely, we have um, services that stream live in Crystal Springs from White Oak United Methodist Church. You can go on Facebook, and you'll be able to see us there on Facebook Live. Uh, the same thing for Jackson, uh, for Pratt Memorial United Methodist Church. You can go on my uh, page, Demario Benson, and you'll be able to see our live stream in there as well. We also have a page that's called um, uh, Pratt page as well. It has a picture of the church that is there and so we have the live streaming that will go there as well. So you can go there and look at any uh, given time. Uh, if you are in the Jackson area it is 1057 West Pascagoula Street, Jackson, Mississippi 39203 and in uh, Crystal Springs we are on 10, I think it's 10007 New Zion Road. You cannot miss us. We are less than a quarter of a mile from uh, calling Panther Lake. So, And you can't miss Community Fest. It's going to be such a good thing. Stacy, where do they go to sign up for the race real quick? Uh, RaceRoster.com. All righty. Y'all stick with us. we got more for you up next.